appalling and lacks respect for those who died. That's how American national Kia Sher, who lost her daughter and husband in the attacks at the Oberoi Hotel, has described the sentence awarded to Headley. 35 years just didn't sound right, she says, and a life sentence would have symbolically been the right statement. Joining us now is Ms. Kiar Sher, an American national who lost her 13-year-old daughter and her husband. Ma'am, a Chicago court has given David Headley 35 years. How do you respond to this judgment? I think it, it, it's, it's an appalling lack of honor for those who lost their lives in the attack. And it shows a disrespect for all of those people, their families, their survivors, the city of Mumbai, and the country of India. Do you think he should have been given at least a life sentence and the prosecution should have pushed for that? Absolutely. I don't understand why they didn't. I don't understand why they didn't have more value for those lives that were lost, that he made it possible for those attacks to happen. He played a major, he didn't pull the trigger, but he played a major role in, in constructing the scene and making it possible for, for that to happen. And it was because of his actions that my daughter spent the last few seconds of her life under a table, you know, on the floor of the Tiffin restaurant, screaming as she was getting shot. So in, in a sense, you feel Kassab got the death sentence. Should he have been also been given the death sentence? It would depend. Um, I, like I had said before, that in general, I'm not in favor of the death penalty in general although I felt it was appropriate for Kasago under the circumstances. I feel that David Headley um, does not deserve to live life as a free man. Um, he demonstrated no value for life whatsoever and needs to spend the rest of his life contemplating that. And if he ever gets it, he should teach the other prisoners about the value for life, but he should never, ever get out of prison. Remorseless and, uh, you know, there's no chance of reform. That's what the judge pointed out. Right. So Do you think that given the legal system in America, a parole could you know, come, come, come his way and he could get out much quicker than expected. I really hope not. I, I really hope that it's 35 years without parole at the very least. Otherwise, that is just very disheartening and disrespectful to everybody involved. Ideally, as we have all, India has always been saying, we want him back in India. He should be tried in India. Oh. What, what do you think about that? Do you think India will ever lay his hands on him? I have no idea, but I think that would be just desserts and very, um, very appropriate for him to be tried in India.